All right, so no one saw this coming because the newest legend to Apex came with a non-triggering ability kit that had a bountiful supply of wall hacks, interrupts, and a built-in sensor. Who would have thought that anything about Seer at all would need changed? The trouble is, um, they, they released some patch notes when they did change them, and, I, well, what, what, what am I looking at here? Increased wait time between sensor spikes? What's a sensor spike? I thought you sensed enemies, not inanimate sharp objects. What's going on here? Removed center circle ellip, ellip, ellips, ellipsis. Ellip, you, you, you nerfed his mouth? Why, why, why would you do that? Uh, yada, yada, yada. Increased cooldown and ultimate by 30 seconds. Jokes on you, respawn. I hardly even use ultimates. Uh, adjusted volume of voice lines when Seer is chosen. You see, they did nerf his lips. And yeah, well, look, there's a lot of changes here. Basically, he's been nerfed in ways that I, I don't fully understand. And that means only one thing. It's time to get into a game and see what these changes mean for us peasants. With me hoisted above the shoulders of the terrible players because my name's Ragtag, the greatest gutter to your gamer on the face of the southern today. I, look, I don't care. Let's just play. Our deep dive into the Seer 2.0 experience began with me and my friend Liam, who has a similar approach to Apex naming strategies as I do, but I've known this guy for years and I wanted someone whose strategy is simply to push forward in every game that they play to the point where, well, you think his keyboard would be stuck with the keys pressed down all the times and I know mine are because I keep dropping wizard beard hairs down there. Anyway, he's the kind of player I need when wanting to put Seer in harm's way and what more harm can we put upon ourselves than dropping hot straight into market? Okay. That guy's low. Yep. Got another guy cracked, but I'm out of bullets. And he's gonna have a gun. Good comms. I have no gun. I'm uh, working on that problem right now. Nice. Yep. Update. You kill everybody. Lies behind Two on me up there. Uh, one, three on me. They're all in that room where I died. Okay, I got two. Another rival my shields. I need these shields. Serious man. Said shields are recharging. My banner's in one of the oh, it's the other side. Lifting the bay. That's another team. Ah, oh, dude, are they still in there? Oh. He's Dude, there's three of them still in there. What? Dude, there's three! There's three still in the room! Okay, look, look that, that was a warm-up game. There's no need to dwell on that. But one thing worth dwelling on, I think, was Liam's uh, reverse puberty moment, which I feel compelled to play again. There's three still in the room! Uh, yeah, maybe just one more. There's three still in the room! I should probably behave myself at this point because I forgot to mention that Liam is going to be editing some of the videos on this channel soon. Anyway, landing north of Artillery is a fantastic spot in Kings Canyon, one of the signal areas for action junkies that is of course if the drop ship path aligns, and today it definitely did, giving us our shot at redemption and a better look at whether or not Seer is still in the upper tiers of greatness or not. But the trouble with that is that this test should, uh, yeah, the, the test should probably have been done by a great player. Come on. He's one. This kid is actually one. Well, you better finish them. Nah, kill him. <laughs> Where is he? Let's get a shield there if you want it. Blue in there. Someone right behind this. Ooh. Uh, there's other people there, I think. Someone on that box, I think. He's low. Look beyond the veil. Reloading. 
Oh my god. Oh! Our guy is. Get low. Nice. Need energy ammo so bad, dude. Away. I can't believe that I actually hit him with that thing. It was a panic attack. Is that one guy? Whoop. I have a jump pad. Let's do it. He's running. Oh, absolutely melted him, dude. If he comes up this side, I'm going there. Oh, he's one. He's one. He's a literal freaking one right here. <laughs> I fell off, dude. I fell off. Oh, dude, he ran. Absolutely melted him, dude. I've, I've got a heartbeat on him. Oh. Get him. Just punch me. He <laughs> punch me as well. Dude. <laughs> He's got his ultimate. Dude. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Mate, he destroyed us. That's what he did. <laughs> I think it's important to find the humor in being outplayed and getting utterly destroyed by your betters, especially when they almost 1v3 your team with nothing more than demonic punching power. However, thanks to our teammate, we live to fight, at, well, a bit more of today. I'm either really good or potato at this game, there's no in between. I can relate to that sentiment. <laughs> <laughs>There's something I really like about charging from the top of the map all the way to the south and just picking battles up along the way, especially when one of those areas on our journey is containment. But as Liam has only recently just gotten back into Apex, a couple of looting things were still being worked on, and he decided to tell me this just as I initiated a full send at the point of no return on a zip line. Right, I have zero shields to put on, so this is... Uh... I'm going to drop you four cells as soon as we land, all right? Yeah, okay. There's a guy on your left. Next to you. Okay, okay. All right, in this building, and then I'll drop the cells. Okay, four cells I'll inside. Him. Nice. Broke one. One down. One down there. It's one. <laughs> you are so low, dude. Is a Valkyrie coming for you? loads up on that thing. People above us as well. I'm going to put my ult on. Let's have a look. See what's what. How's it going, right? Yeah, it's going pretty well. Um, how are you? Is he dead? The Valkyrie is, yeah. But there's... A, is that a caustic over here? I'm seeing gas. <gasps> Alright, there's two teams there, it looks like. Hello. Hello. I think I'm just going for it, Rag. I like it. I'm on the roof, but it's kind of hard to... One down. Alright, so... One team dead. So there was a retreating bang. Another team on us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm recharging my shields. Do I hear someone outside? Yeah, it's a banger. Hit for a 66, maybe? Oh, right, let's see. 1 plus 1 is 2, and 50 plus 11 is uh, 66. Yes, well done, well done. Down. I'll get it in the building, dude. In between me and you somewhere. Melted. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs>
Containment was ours and we headed to the river next to pray for a Kraber from the care package, but little did I realise that although it wouldn't be dropping any red weapons this time, the disappointment wasn't there because it gave me the next best thing, a turbocharger from my devotion. Realising that there were only two other squads left to fight, we decided to get a move on and then, once we heard the sounds of battle, an opportunistic third party could all but seal victory for our team. Oh, we're right on us. Reloading. I downed him. Reloading. I'm taking fire. Brother, I am need cover. <laughs> I think that bloodhound might be sending it. Alright, you're sending it. It's on on the roof. Is this a different team? With each passing moment, my life force dripped onto the battleground around me and the realisation that Bloodhound was truly alone left me filled with dread. They had the ring on their side though, but one mistake would end this game. Unless they could pull off a brazen revive and tip the scales. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Oh, that's risky. He's coming out. I'm shielding. I'm nearly dead. He down one, I think. Oh well, you know, I didn't notice anything really different about Seer, but that's because I spend most of my time wondering how I'm still alive in any given moment of any given game. And then, you know, he might have been nerfed or rebalanced or whatever you want to call it, but that had nothing to do with us losing this game, and while it does suck to end the video with a loss, we really enjoyed this match, and that's what matters. Right, Liam? It's, 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 it's,